So good day everyone. Uh, welcome back to today's uh, class where we're going to be looking at study session 2 uh, titled uh, Computer uh, Hardware. So the learning uh, outcomes for this study session uh, this study session includes uh, the fundamentals of computer hardware and uh, its components. Uh, you should be able to also uh, you know, determine the roles of the CPU uh, RAM and storage uh, devices. Explain the distinctions between input, output, and processing uh, devices. Also, uh, you should be able to understand the significance of hardware maintenance and uh, troubleshooting. So, as a way of introduction, uh, this section actually uh, delves into the intricacies of computer hardware, where we are going to be looking at CPUs, uh, memory, storage, uh, motherboards and input output uh, devices. We are also going to have an understanding of uh, the components uh, that are crucial for troubleshooting issues and thereby improving performance and maximizing technology's uh, potential. Overview and components of computer hardware. So computer hardware uh, actually comprises of uh, those components uh, that are visible and then you can see and touch. Uh, they include components like uh, the central processing unit, uh, you know, random access memory, RAM, storage devices, input output uh, devices, and processing devices. Uh, they tend to work together to perform various functions in your computer uh, system. CPU, the central processing unit, uh, which is regarded as the brain of a computer, is one of the primary uh, you know, basic component that performs all processing operations in the computer. So it uh, actually consists of uh, what is referred to as the ALU, that's the arithmetic and logic unit, and also the control unit. The arithmetic and logic unit, the ALU, uh, is further, you know, uh, or rather, uh, further comprises of uh, the arithmetic. Uh, uh, unit section that you know that performs uh, arithmetic operations, and then the other one is the uh, logical uh, operations. So the control unit part of the circuit uh, is nothing but uh, part of the circuit you know that provide uh, you know control of the various uh, tasks. So CPU speed and performance depend on factors such as uh, uh, you know speed, uh, cache size, and then the, the number of cores in the processor. Random access memory. The random access memory, which is uh, you know, regarded or considered as uh, one of the, uh, you know, the main uh, memory in the computer, is a volatile component in the computer that stores data and instructions for CPU, uh, you know, quick access. So larger amounts uh, tend to improve performance and then uh, pro programs are uh, running efficiently. So primary memory types include static, you know, dynamic, synchronous, uh, double data rate, DDR, and then uh, we will, they also come in the terms of non-volatile uh, forms. Storage uh, devices. A storage device is a hardware component in a computer system, you know, that stores and retrieves uh, digital uh, data. Available in various capacities like uh, the hard disk drive, HDDs, uh, also have solid state drives that are gradually uh, you know, replacing the hard disk drives. I also have the universal serial bus flash, USB flash drives, uh, you know, memory cards, and then the network attached uh, storage, uh, NAS. Output devices. The output devices are uh, you know, uh, devices that uh, allow uh, you know process data that, that results into information to be outputted for the uh, users. So they can take in the form of monitors, uh, you know, printers, uh, speakers, projectors, headphones, and the likes. They are essential peripherals in computer system that present process data in a human readable uh, form. Processing uh, devices. So processing devices in computer can take in the different forms uh, aside uh, the central processing unit. So we also have the graphic processing unit, uh, digital signal processor, 
you know the field uh, programmable gate arrays array and then the application specific integrated uh, circuit so these are crucial in computer system thereby handling computational tasks uh, you know data uh, flow and executing uh, instructions ranging from single uh, chips to complex uh, network of uh, circuits the motherboard a motherboard in, uh, in computing uh, is uh, considered to be the uh, a printer circuit board in computer you know that uh, you know connect uh, several components uh, which includes the processor uh, memory storage and peripherals so it's a circuit board in computer to which uh, every other components are attached uh, you know, to it so it manages data and power flow uh, contains it also contains bios and offers uh, advanced uh, features so power supply uh, unit a power supply unit psu uh, is a crucial component in the computer system uh, that is responsible for converting uh, alternating current ac power from a wall outlet to a direct component for components like the motherboard you know processor and the likes associated with uh, a motherboard or uh, generally computing systems is uh, what is referred to as a cooling system so a cooling uh, unit usually in a computer system such as cpu coolers uh, you know case fans or liquid cooling systems uh, tends to help uh, you know, maintain a safe operating uh, temperature so they tend to regulate the temperature uh, of uh, systems by dissipating heat uh, that are being generated by these uh, uh, components <laughs> The significance of hardware maintenance and troubleshooting. Uh, so regular maintenance and troubleshooting of computer hardware are crucial for its uh, you know, longevity, uh, reliability, efficiency, and safety. So these practices tend to extend the hardware's uh, lifespan, thereby uh, optimizing performance, you know, preventing data loss, and then reduce costs and resources. As such, uh, pro proactive maintenance is more economical than the reactive uh, repairs and it helps in uh, minimizing uh, systems uh, downtime. So, summary of uh, study session two. The session actually looks at uh, hardware devices uh, where we emphasize the importance of hardware maintenance troubleshooting, uh, emphasizing the need to understand and troubleshoot faults involving components such as uh, CPU, you know, RAM, uh, storage devices. We are also uh, able to, uh, you know, look at uh, the different input and output uh, devices such as, uh, you know, keyboard, uh, mouse, uh, monitors, and then processing uh, devices like uh, GPUs, uh, CPUs, and the likes. So uh, for this study session uh, also, we also have uh, the uh, self-assessment uh, questions. So for the uh, SAQ uh, 2.1, uh, identify the primary function of the central processing unit CPU in the computer uh, system. Uh, SAQ 2.2, name three common types of storage devices used in modern uh, computers. SAQ 2.3, identify three common input devices used in computer systems. SAQ 2.4, explain the function of the motherboard in a computer uh, system.